Tuberculosis continues to pose a serious threat, especially for those living in developing countries. In Ghana, this highly infectious but curable disease claims more than 9,000 lives annually. This is more than the death toll recorded during the recent Ebola outbreak in West Africa. So, to help detect TB cases early, Ghana's health ministry is implementing a nationwide innovative project. The BBC's Thomas Nadi reports from Accra. It's a swift and silent killer. Rose Doe, a mother of two children, recently lost her husband to tuberculosis. If it were to be detected early, he would have been alive. And I have two kids around to take care of alone. I've seen of their daddy every day. It has been too difficult. According to official statistics, more than 20 people die from tuberculosis in Ghana every day. Most people in developing countries are exposed to the bacteria that cause TB, unlike in more developed countries where it has been controlled. But the disease can be prevented and cured if detected early. The government of Ghana is trying to save more lives with the help of the sun. Solar-powered digital X-ray machines are being installed in 50 health facilities nationwide. This hospital in Mampong, in the eastern region, has started using it. This digital X-ray machine takes chest images of tuberculosis patients. It's then sent to this special computer, which interprets the image and transfers it over to a database. It can then be accessed by the nearest specialist. Previously, diagnosis of tuberculosis patients took one week, which increased the risk of spreading the disease. Now it takes just two minutes for most patients and two hours for patients with special cases. Denchi Berkun is the radiographer in this facility. We had a challenge with our X-ray machine. It was not working for the past two years. Now this solar-powered X-ray digital machine has come in to help us. We are able to do X-ray and diagnose TB cases at a quick and a faster rate. This may be a breakthrough, but there's still the problem of stigma, which is preventing people from coming to test for the disease. However, it's an innovation that is expected to change the tide of tuberculosis in the country. Thomas Nadi, BBC News, Accra.